I've worked on literally thousands of criminal cases. Sometimes, as a lawyer, I'm in a position where I've given my client advice, where there's a clear right thing for them to do, and instead of taking that advice and doing that right thing, they ignore it and do something else instead. Inevitably, it blows up, and I'm now doing janitorial service to clean up that mess. There's a phrase I like to use for these people. I call it felony stupid. The poster child for felony stupid is O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson, in my view, got away with murder. The clear course of action for someone who gets away with murder is to lead an honest and upright life, one that doesn't tempt fate by engaging in any other criminal conduct. Lay low. There's a reason for the expression, lightning doesn't strike twice, and O.J. Simpson has nearly three more decades in a Nevada state prison to reflect on this after his misguided attempt to regain sports memorabilia that bore his signature and the criminal convictions which followed. And now there's a new application for membership in the felony stupid club, George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman was acquitted of murder by a Florida jury only weeks ago. Now, put aside the idea that some people believe this was the proper outcome. In fact, as someone who watched every single day of that trial and who saw just how bad the prosecution's witnesses performed, regardless of what you think about Trayvon Martin, the prosecution deserved to lose the George Zimmerman trial. They were felony stupid too. But think about it. You have just gone through a process that could have resulted in your spending every single day for the rest of your life in a prison cell. Six jurors decided the government failed to meet its burden of proving guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, and George, they let you off the hook. And add to that that some of these six people now regret that choice. And now, in the aftermath of that close call, you've had two run-ins with law enforcement about your driving. Your wife has filed for divorce. And now this very public altercation, which, as of now, could still result in more criminal charges being filed against you. Really? Some might call this bad luck. Others might call it chutzpah. I call it plain old felony stupid. Mr. Zimmerman, the path is a clear one. Whether you got away with murder or you were properly vindicated for exercising your right to defend yourself, the clear and obvious path is to be cool like Fonzie. As a legal analyst and social commentator, you are revealing yourself to be an annuity, a gift that keeps on giving. And for that, sir, I thank you. And everyone else in your midst would be well served to just get the hell out of your way. Just because you dodged one bullet does not mean that the shooting has stopped. I'm Darren Cavanoke for Crime Feed on Investigation Discovery.